go we're heading straight to the grill guys um we're grilling with grace and having some weekend sips with tropical rhythms and i have my grill getting nice and hot here so richard rampton who's a very special guest uh you would have heard his COVID chronicle uh at the top and he does a fantastic burger at big rolls his establishment i am going to try to make a burger that richard will put on his menu, on menu. i'm trying to get this burger on richard's menu <laughs> This burger, Richard, is pesto juke burger. Let's see how it goes. Oh my goodness, I feel any pressure already. So I have my meat here. Um, this is this is this is minced meat, uh, minced beef. Sometimes a lot of people like to do a mix of, of, of pork and, and beef, but this is just minced minced beef, and I'm going to start seasoning. Very light salt and pepper. Very light salt and pepper. Why? Because there are some big, big flavors going in here, guys. I have four teaspoons, about four heavy teaspoons teaspoons of pesto um it's a mix between some fresh as well as some starboard uh, some some bottle water it's, it's straight out of the bottle um good good flavor and i'm just going to add that pesto in right there you can use the pesto out of the bottle store-bought pesto hey do 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 i won't get vexed with you i have some breadcrumbs that i just want to add breadcrumbs important for it just to hold the burger together because it can't break in the grill. And I, and I can't. <laughs> Richard putting pressure on me. One egg goes in there. And I just want to add some garlic. I love garlic for that little extra flavor. And you get your garlic in there. Richard, at this stage, you mix everything together. Now, I have the most important ingredient that I must add now. Because I want this not only pesto. But I'm going to use the mild grease jerk seasoning now there's a mild and a hot mm -hmm. so i'm using the mild because i, I want the pesto and the oh. jerk to balance off kind of thing right the hot is as just as tasty but it's lash a little bit <laughs> so I, I want i want the, i'm using the mild here just so that the flavors balance off with the pesto so just about a nice heaping tablespoon and i mix that in you see I'm using a spoon I'm gonna put that spoon down and just get that quickly mixed in I learned doing burgers that you don't want to over mix this meat at this stage I, I just want to score it very quickly I want four burgers and I could just form a nice patty just like this even patty is very very important Little trick with the burger, indent. That's just so your burger will kind of hold its hold its shape. It's like eight ounces, yeah, eight ounces your menu. So 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 it's an eight ounce burger <laughs> trying to get on 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 Big Rose on Big Rose menu. There you go. Which at this stage, I'm just gonna put it on the grill, straight on the grill like that, and leave it mm -hmm. for about two minutes. So it's just about time to flip the burgers. What's very important, as I said. Get the burgers on the grill and leave it. Don't go and press it down the burger and poke in the burger and that kind of thing. You will not get onto the big roll menu if you do that. <laughs> right? So at this stage, you flip. And you get those lovely grill marks. And then you allow this now another five minutes. Just leave it alone. Don't poke it around. Leave it alone. Five minutes. And you get those perfect juicy burgers that will head onto the big roll menu. Pesto joke burgers. Smells great. So just at this stage, the final 30 seconds, I just have some Swiss cheese that I want to top on this guy and cover him down. I like to toast my bread straight on the grill, slightly buttered. All right guys, so I just want to get this off there and look at that. That's exactly what you want to see. I just want to get my bread off, nice grill marks on my bread. So cheese melted, looking great. How do you like your burgers, Richard? Medium. You like your burgers medium. That's why that's why we are friends, you know. <laughs> so 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 getting it getting the burger to perfect temperature sometimes is always the challenge. Challenging. Into, especially for novice grillers like me, you know, you know, people who know they know the grill off the top. They, 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 that, yeah. <laughs> but now you're timing, you're checking the time, you know. Nothing wrong with that. I like this simple because of the big bowl flavors. Pesto jerk with that wonderful grease jerk seasoning. I all I'm doing here 
is one one leaf of lettuce on either burger and I just want some sliced tomatoes because I want Richard to taste the jerk and the pesto. You don't need to kill it with ketchup and salt. No, no, no. I particularly did not want any additional flavors. And there you go. This is our jerk pesto burger. Mr. Ramjohn. Thank you very much, man. Do enjoy. And please let me know how soon it will get onto the menu. No problem. Richard Ramjohn, our jerk pesto burger, our first grilling with grace here. I want to thank Tyrone, of course, for dropping by, whipping up that wonderful cocktail. Sure, Richard it's almost, a pleasure. Richard always finished the cocktail already. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah, yeah. Take a bite, let me know how it goes. When we come back, guys, we finish things off on a sweet note. Stay with us. Grilling with Grace comes to you courtesy Grace Jerk Seasonings. Jamming flavor.